Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about client and server model. So, this video is mainly about client and server generally also and also with respect to computer graphics also. So, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So, now I am going to explain a client server model. Now, the computer graphics architecture is based on client server model. Not only computer graphics, right? So, if you take uh, any uh, system that is connected to the internet, uh, most of the network is based on, most of the systems are arranged based on client server model, right? Here, I am explaining this client server concept generally also and also specifically with respect to computer graphics. Okay. The computer graphics architecture is based on the client server model. That is, if the computer graphics is to be useful for variety of real application, that means computer graphics, graphics is not created, nowadays it is not created only on the standalone systems. Graphics can be created on the systems that are connected to the internet right so graphics can be created on the systems that are connected to the internet for example maps maps are nothing but graphics right whatever the maps we are using today that maps are graphics but that graphics is stored in network your maps are stored in network that's why so we need a client server model now what is a client server model? So here, uh, in this architecture, the building blocks entities are called as servers, right? Uh, servers are uh, nothing but machines that are going to process the request that is going to be uh, the sent by client. Servers are going to process the request that are sent by client, right? Servers and clients can be distributed over a network or can be present within a single system. So, um, uh, most of the times, if we say server and clients, the servers are servers and clients are uh, distributed over a network. That is, that means client and server are the systems that are connected through network or internet. Right now. What is a client? Client is going to send the request to the server. Server is going to accept the request from the client and it's going to process the request and again it's going to send back the result to the client. So getting my point, client is going to send the request to the server, server is going to process the request and it and it's going to send back is going to send back the result to the client it's going to send back the result to the client server is going to send the result now so this is a simple diagram of a client and server model you can see here so we have uh, servers and the clients is connected through a topology bus topology so bus topology is mainly used to connect to different different devices Okay, you can see here we have print server, graphic server, workstation, workstation can be uh, client here, compute server, file server, graphic server, you can see here we have different different types of servers and uh, clients are connected to a same network that is uh, client server model. So one can be a, one system can be a client and one can one system can be a server. Right, for example, I can send a request from this workstation to the print server to print the document. So, print server can print the document and it can again send it back to the workstation. Right, it's simple, very, very simple. So, these clients and servers are connected through network. Network means, right, they can, uh, client and server can send and receive the information. Right. Next, most popular examples of servers are what? Print servers. So what they do? Which allow using high speed printer devices among multiple users. We can share. 
right in the same way file servers allow user to share files and programs you can share for example uh, you can assume the user in this workstation is printing the document in this print server again at the same time uh, another person is from the uh, from the second workstation is also printing the document yes it's possible the two or more more than one per person can share the resources can share the server simultaneously it is possible you know the real world example uh, you can search something in the google server right at the same time throughout the world so, so many other users will also use uh, will be using the google at the same time right you can share your resources next now users or clients will make use of these services with the help of user programs or client programs yes you know that you can sh uh, share your resources clients can share your uh, share the resources of the server how means client will have some uh, interface using that interface you can uh, use your servers for example you can use google servers by entering the uh, search uh, by entering so uh, item that is going to be searched in a text box so user is going to be provided with uh, some interface using this interface of the client i can use the services of the server okay so if uh, in the context of open gl or in the context of computer graphics the open gl application programs are the client programs that use the services provided by the graphics server see you can generate your graphics in this workstation right you can generate your graphics and you can store your graphics in this graphics server if you want any services from this graphics server again you can send the request and this uh, request is processed by the graphics server and again it is going to send the result back to you to the client getting my point so with respect to graphics i am uh, speaking here not only graphics we, we you can consider uh, so many other tasks also printing computing something like that okay even if we have single user isolated system the interaction should be configured as client server model that means i can convert a single user system to client server also for example nowadays i can use a servers like xamp where i can install uh, i can uh, use my system as a client also server also both as client and server same systems can be same system can be used as both client and server it's possible you can install the server in the same system and you can use the same system as a client for example xam server right so that's it guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video